In this class, we will look at the practical application of V-belts, and how to design and model them using the V-belts command. V-belts are applied for power transmission between parallel shafts. They are widely used in machines in general, and their performance varies between 95 and 98 percent. The maximum power to be transmitted should be 1100 kW, or 1500 CV approximately, that is, they are components that have a power limitation to be transmitted. For the application of the concepts of this class, we will use this axis, provided in the class. The command V-belts is located in the Power Transmission Tool group. The first thing to do is to select the belt that will be used. In the belt window, we click on this arrow and are directed to the content center, where we will select the belt. For this example, we chose the first one from the list. The next step is to select the median plane of the belt trajectory. In our case, the belt will pass in the center of the shaft, so we select the central plane of this element. In mid-plane offset we can apply a distance to the inserted plane, but in our case it will be zero. In number of belts, we indicate the amount of belts that will be inserted. In datum length, we report the distance between the pulley centers. We must select a standard distance, which is depending on the belt we have selected. We define the distance between centers to 820.42 mm. In the pulleys window, we define the pulleys that will be used. The first pulley is always the motor, that is, the booster of the system. We can select an existing pulley, indicate a virtual pulley, when we are only interested in creating and calculating the belt, or we can create a new pulley. In this field, there are several options for inserting the element. The position can be given by coordinates, fixing in a geometry, sliding pulley, direction for sliding pulley or rotation for sliding pulley. We will select fastening in a geometry, and click on the cylindrical face of the shaft, which is where the pulley will be mounted. By clicking this button, we are directed to the pulley design window. In it, we can change the friction factor and the diameter, which will be 90 mm. When we change the diameter, the other dimension windows are activated, and we can change them. We must also inform the direction of pulley turning, whether it will be clockwise or counterclockwise. We can also create pulleys with more than one channel by clicking on this box and informing the number of channels. Let's now set up the second pulley. The diameter of the second pulley will be 120 mm. If more pulleys are needed for transmission, just click here to add pulleys. In the Calculation tab, we must enter the parameters of the operation of the system. First we must select the type of calculation, which can be check voltage or project number of belts. We chose tension check. In load, we choose the unknown we want to solve. We can get the result of system power, system speed or torque. Let's calculate the torque. The power will be 1 kW. The speed will be 2000 RPM. The service factor will be 1.2. We click Calculate, and the inventor performs the calculation. The results should be analyzed by looking at these windows. We click OK to insert the pulleys and belts.
In this class, we saw the practical application of V-belts, and how to design and model them using the V-belts command.